Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PS3, PS4, GameCube, and Wii Switch and 3DS emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PS3 emulation on PC with RPCS3. RPCS3 just released a brand new video and showed off some very impressive performance improvements. Now the video itself is just over 7 minutes long and it's definitely worth a watch. I'll leave a link in the description below, please check it out. So if you are curious, here is the full list of games that appear in the video. Let me know in the comments below which of these games is your favorite, or maybe which of these games you're most excited about. I am willing to bet we'll probably see a lot of MGS4, God of War 3, maybe Persona 5, as well as Red Dead Redemption, but let me know in the comments below. On top of all of that, audio and HDMI support is now working thanks to Vestral. As for just how big this performance boost is, in games like Metal Gear Solid 4, it's reported that there's an uplift of 25-50%. to 50 And in games like Red Dead Redemption, there's an uplift of 5-20%. to 20 that is quite a bit. As far as I know, these massive performance improvements are thanks to Neko Technica and KD11. For an overall view on how our PCS3 is doing, check out the compatibility tab on their website. We can see here out of 3,286 games that have been tested, 2,207 of those are playable. 924 are in-game, 151 get to the intro, Four of them are loadable and zero get nothing. Next up, we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation on PC with Spine. There is a brand new release of Spine available on GitHub. I have no idea what's in it. I haven't seen the change log just yet, but once it's available, I'll take a look at it. At this point in time, it appears that there are some audio fixes and there might be a thing or two else in it, but I will leave a link to it in the description below because it is 100% free and if you wanted to check it out, you absolutely can. Moving on now and we're talking about GameCube and Wii emulation on Android with Dolphin, just not the version of Dolphin that's available on the Play Store. We're talking about Dolphin MMJR, the fork of Dolphin that's geared towards performance as opposed to emulation accuracy. Dolphin MMJR just got a brand new release. If you know what MMJR stands for, let me know in the comments below. This new version of MMJR is 1.011505, brought to you by Gamer64. And it brings about the following changes. Dolphin Master updates, which fixes crashes on some games like Paper Mario. Uh, UI redesigns, and this one is a big one, MMJR2 updater port. It should be a heck of a lot easier now to update this app. You might not have to re-download it from GitHub. But if you wanted to download it from GitHub, you absolutely can. It's 100% free, and I'll drop a link in the description below. If you are using MMJR and you do update to this new version, all you have to do is open it up and it'll automatically check for updates. And you can also install this APK alongside the Google Play Store version of Dolphin because they don't talk to each other, they're completely separate apps. So truth be told here, it might be worth it to have both apps on your phone if you want to experiment and see what works best for you. Next up, we're talking about 3DS emulation and we'll start out with Citra, but we'll stay on this MMJ theme and not talk about the version that's on the Play Store. We're talking about Citra MMJ, where MMJ stands for, I won't say it, but just let me know in the comments below. Anyways, there's a brand new version of Citra MMJ that just released. And in terms of the change log here, it's relatively thin, there are some bug fixes, and there's also a brand new option. This new option is called Memory Reuse. It is experimental and its effectiveness will vary from game to game. But if you are struggling to run certain games, you might want to check this setting out and see if it works for you. Just like Dolphin MMJR, you can install Citra MMJ alongside the official version and you don't have to worry about the two apps conflicting. On top of that, Citra MMJ is 100% free, so I'll leave a link to the GitHub page in the description below. Now, keeping on the theme of 3DS, and we're talking about an upcoming competitor to Citra, and that would be Mikage. Mikage now has a Patreon page and things are starting to heat up. Next up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Kind of. I opened up YouTube today and this video popped up in my recommended feed. And I am shaking my head at it. For those that are unaware, Skyline MMJR came out as an April Fool's joke. It does not run better than the normal version of Skyline. The FPS numbers were hacked. Uh, just to show a ridiculous frame rate and the graphics were also messed up intentionally. It is not a real version of Skyline. You can try it out if you want, but there is nothing to be gained by it, unless you like weird experiences. 
And this video says for some reason there's a new Skyline MMJR will launch soon. It's also not food. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, and we talked about quite a bit. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state. Thank you.